So, okay, yeah, whenever you're ready, can you explain what you guys built? Yeah, so uh, so these two Picos are communicating with each other right now, like over like a Bluetooth, these Bluetooth modules, they're called like HC05s, and uh, essentially the, the Pico here uses um, a UART connection to the Bluetooth module, and that's how they communicate all data. And then any data sent to this module through UART gets like immediately transferred over. Like they, it just knows to send the data back to the other one. Um, and like the Bluetooth modules take a little bit of setup before. Mm -hmm. So like you have to make sure that they like are binded with the same address and stuff like that, that this one's the master and this one's the slave. Um, so yeah, so the, the purpose of connecting them like this was so that we could have a, an MPU on a different Pico that is access sort of like a controller Mm -hmm. And uh, the idea is that you can move this controller kind of like a like a Nintendo Wii mm -hmm. around the the screen, and then you could like see the cursor and um, and like click on the buttons of the of the game. That's what we call it, the Pico Wii. <laughs> sure. Oh, okay. So, so this is your controller with yeah. the initial measurement unit on it. It's yeah. communicating to this, which is driving the screen. Yes. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And this also handles like most of the game logic and stuff like that. Like this is mostly just telling it where to put the new cursor. That sure. Is, user click to yeah possibly. yeah so so the like our original idea was to have two buttons on the controller where you could click one button to just have it like click a, a like an a ui so, like yeah. element, and the other button would allow you to like calibrate the remote so you so the idea was you could put it in the middle of the screen and then press the calibrate button and that would center the cursor on the middle of the screen with your like remote and then like from there you could, yeah okay like, um so we weren't able to get the buttons working. There was like some weird issue where like, for some reason, whenever we'd call GPIO, like we would get like, essentially the Pico would like crash. Hmm. Um, so what we did instead was we, we used a, like a serial connection to actually like simulate the button presses on the actual. Okay. Um, so, so here, like before you start, you have to calibrate the, Okay, so now, as you tilt that up, it's moving up the screen. Yep. Awesome. Go start game. So now you can. Oh, and then a tic tac toe. Yes. Okay. Cool. Very nice. This displays the winner and then it should take us back to the menu. Okay. Okay. Cool. Restart. 